Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 2 of Cooking with Chef Seymour. If you haven't noticed already, we're cooking salmon today. You know, I see a lot of people cook salmon their way, but my way, I like to do a thing called Cajun Butter Brown Sugar Salmon. On today's episode, people, we're doing big things. To improve my sound quality, I have this microphone. No good entree is served without some good, hearty, healthy sides. Today, I will be doing some honey glazed carrots and some mashed potatoes. Y'all may think I may be talking about instant mashed potatoes. No, y'all, I'm a chef. We make them homemade. Now, you either have your choice of baby reds, which I made for Thanksgiving, my family love them, or just a small bag of potatoes that are tri colored. Get a pot of your choice and fill it up with water to where they cover the tops of potatoes. Now to add flavor to your water, add some sea salt. And then you wanna cook your mashed potatoes to your liking of softness or to their tender. Now that we have prepared our carrots, shaved them, and cut them into slices, we are going to top them with some brown sugar and honey. Now get a handful of brown sugar and sprinkle it all over until how much that you like it. And then about this much honey, drizzle. Here are some two pro tips. Number one, make sure that you line your baking sheet with aluminum foil or wax paper. Whatever you have, it will work. Pro tip number two, make sure you do not put a lot of brown sugar or honey or butter. Those already have a lot of sugar in it, and when the sugar gets to heat, it burns for you. Make sure you preheat your oven to 450. And as you see, we have our carrots nice and dressed. Cook them till they're all tender. We have our medium-sized pieces and our thinner pieces. You want to cook them till all the pieces are tender. Now it's time for the start of the show. Whenever I get salmon from a restaurant or wherever I go, maybe the salmon is just bland and I want my salmon to be my own. So, to make our Cajun butter brown sugar salmon sauce, we will be using a whole stick of butter, a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of Creole seasoning of your choice, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of chili powder, and finally a pressed pinch of Italian herbs. Now, it's about to get fun. We're about to add all of our butter sauce. If you want to save some to top what your salmon and dip it in, that is okay. But I'm going to put it all over the salmon so the salmon can have flavor. And once you're done covering it, we're going to put it in the oven. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these are our lemon slices that we have cut up earlier. We're going to place them one by one on the sandwich, like so. Now we're going to transfer it over to our lined, covered baking sheet. You want to put this in your 450 preheated oven and cook it for 20 minutes. Now that we have transferred our potatoes into a bowl, it's time to start the mashing process. This is a masher. You can get it at your local grocery store. If it's only a couple of dollars, maybe at the dollar store. If you don't have it, it's fine. You can use a fork, which will take more muscle and trick. Now, it is time to add our flavor. Get some milk, 
sour cream, and butter. Now that our potatoes are nice and mashed, you can add flavor. I like to add a little bit of salt to taste, and then some Italian herbs. Now that our sides are done, which I'm really excited about, let's try some. So now let's try the potatoes. Here's the final product. Let's indulge in everything at once. That is some good salmon. Well, I want to thank all of you for joining me today on the second episode of Cooking with Chef Seymour. May God bless you. Goodbye.